What is up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars set number 75283 Armored Assault Tank. This set comes with 286 pieces and 4 minifigures, one of which is exclusive and two that kind of have a new print but not really exclusive. Let's take a look at it. Before we get into the main review, let's just take a look at the back of the box. It's pretty straightforward. It's got some nice Clone Wars uh, artwork in the back. You can see the four minifigures displayed really nicely, and of course the AAT right there. It is in the new color scheme for the Clone Wars. Not new, but the newer than the previous version. That was an all tan, uh, so that was more of a Phantom Menace version. This is, of course, the Clone Wars version based off the TV show. So yeah, that's all we get in the box. There's nothing really, nothing really else that's interesting there, so let's actually take a look at the set. Taking a closer look at the AAT itself, it's a pretty simple build. It's really straightforward. It's not that different from the one that was released back in 2015. You got a couple play features. Of course, you have, as usual, the uh, spring-loaded shooters up here. I've already lost mine. Uh, those are activated with this little gray lever up here. Uh, you'll just push that down, and they'll release. You have these little two side cannons on the side of the build. Uh, they don't really do anything. It's more for looks, of course, but you can position them in whichever way you'd like. You, of course, have the top cannon, and that's the main feature. It does rotate. 360 360 degrees and it allows you to have some motion of going up and down and then besides that the AAT is pretty straightforward you're just gonna have a cockpit here in the front for your pilot droid and then you're gonna have one small hatch up the top for someone to control the turret uh, you're not gonna be able to close this hatch unless you fold the droid up but you can actually fold the droid up and fit him in there but besides that it's pretty straightforward build it is a nice build I think in comparison to the one that came back in 2015 uh, the Phantom Menace version, I don't think it was as nice. It's definitely smaller. Um, I think this was definitely an upgrade. And then, of course, the inclusion of these nice rounded clear studs on the bottom to give it the illusion that the AAT is floating is definitely a nice touch. And, and it makes it look a little bit nicer if you're going to have it up on a shelf and display it. All right, taking a closer look at the figures, I think we should start on the right here with these two battle droids. Um, there's nothing really new going on here. It's the same battle droid we've seen for the past 20 years. Uh, the only difference is that they have a nice head print to show the the fact that these are Clone Wars droids and they're a little bit different. They honestly look like they belong in a Kashyyyk set um, with this lime green torso, but it is very nice to have two and not just one. And the fact that they come with gunmetal gray blasters is a nice uh, welcome addition, but nothing really crazy. You guys probably have a million of these. Um, then let's skip over here to Ahsoka, also not super special, you've seen her in a couple other sets, like the Duel on Mandalore set with Darth Maul, so there's nothing really different going on here, she obviously has really nice printing on the front, going down to her legs, and she's got a little bit of back printing, she also has a really nice headpiece, or, or hairpiece, excuse me, it's, uh, it is plastic, but it's not hard plastic, so you can move it around a little bit, it's kind of squishy, um, I will say that she's, she obviously has a double-sided face like most figs these days. However, once you set it, it's almost impossible to take her hairpiece off of, off of the head and try to uh, change the expression. So that's something you might want to look at. And keep in mind, so if you ever decide to change it, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But I think the best part of this set, honestly, is this trooper right here. It's Ahsoka's clone trooper. I think it's a 332nd trooper in the actual Clone Wars. That's what they're called. But this guy is what makes this set. And I think this is what makes this set incredibly valuable, especially for future investments. Uh, you have the same body as the 501st clone trooper, so that's not different. What's really different is obviously the helmet. It's definitely a very beautiful print. Really nice mold going all the way around. Um, you know, you do have some back printing, just like on the 501st. Nothing on the back of the helmet, which is usual, so nothing too crazy, but really that orange really accents the blue nicely, and you could tell he's an Ahsoka's clone trooper. So the inclusion of this guy is probably the only reason you might want to be grabbing this set if you have any previous AATs or you have plenty of battle droids or an Ahsoka already. The main reason you're going to want to grab this is for this guy right here. Really nicely detailed. He's just going to come with a black blaster. Nothing really special about that. But I definitely think he makes this set, and I know that in the future, what's going to make it really valuable is that clone trooper. So if you're definitely looking for investments, I think this set's the way to go for this guy right here. So my overall thoughts about this set is that it's definitely, it, it's worth it if you can get it when it was released. 
which was a little bit earlier in the last year. Definitely made it worth it in the $39.99 price range just for the Clone Trooper. I wouldn't say the build is anything that's amazing. It's not mind-blowing. I think it does have some quirks. Like this extra long cannon up here just feels like it's a little too long for the set. A little too long for the, the vehicle itself, so it looks a little strange. Obviously, the battle droids are a nice touch. I know a lot of people like doing droid armies, and it's definitely nice to have a slightly different print. The Ahsoka is obviously a nice figure if you if you don't have one, but if you do, it's 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 not different from any of the other ones. The real, I think, the hitter on this set is going to be that that uh, the Ahsoka's clone trooper, the 332nd clone trooper. That's what makes this set. Just like most of these sets that are released this past year, it's mainly the clone troopers that have made the sets uh, really special. So if you're someone that's looking to get into investing and you don't have a big budget, but you, you want to look at getting some smaller sets that are going to be worth something in the future, I think this is definitely something that you need to take a look at, uh, specifically for that clone that clone trooper. So if you get one or two sets, I think it's definitely it's going to be worth something in the future, and that's what's going to make it a selling point. So that's pretty much it for this review. It's pretty straightforward. It's a very small set, nothing too crazy. Definitely get it if you like it. If you like Clone Wars, you're going to like this set. Nothing to hate on it. So, see you guys in the next review.